द क्वेश्चन से इज द आई उपाय नेम ऑफ द को आर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड दिस इज द को आर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड गिवन लेट मी राइट द को आर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड दैट इज के थ्री क्लोज ब्रैकेट एफ ई सी एन होल सिक्स इज देयर एंड क्लोज ब्रैकेट इज देयर बिफोर नेमिंग द कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑलवेज आइडेंटिफाई इफ द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट इज प्रेजेंट इन द कैटानिक कॉम्प्लेक्स और इन द एनानिक कॉम्प्लेक्स बिकॉज इफ द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट इज प्रेजेंट इन द कैटानिक पोर्शन देन वी यूज इट्स कॉमन नेम एज गिवन इन द पीरियडिक टेबल एंड इफ द सेंट्रल एलिमेंट इज प्रेजेंट इन द एनानिक पोर्शन देन वी यूज इट्स स्पेशल नेम ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आइडेंटिफाई कैटानिक एज वेल एज एनानिक सो इफ आई ब्रेक दिस complex you know we can break it from here because this portion cannot be broken close bracket is there okay so first one is what positive and second part will be negative so you can see this central element is present in the anionic complex means we have to use its special name and how we can name the complex part so always follow the order we have number of ligands first of all number of ligands you have to mention then type of ligands and then central metal atom and then we have to write oxidation number of the central metal atom in roman number in roman numbers okay so first of all cationic portion we can name and then followed by anionic portion then cationic portion we have the counter ion what is the counter ion we have potassium let me write potassium keep in mind you cannot mention you cannot mention tri potassium it is only potassium whatever the number of cation are given there we should not focus on the number of cations you should use only the common uh, common name okay for example let's say if i mention this is what na2so4 is there this is what sodium sulfate i do not name it it is a di sodium sulfate because this two we are getting by balancing the charge similarly we are getting three by balancing the charge okay so what were the number of counter ions are given there we do not focus on the number we use only the common name that is potassium okay follow followed by anionic portion cationic naming is done then we followed by anionic portion so this is the anionic complex we have in this case first of all number of ligands you can see this is the central metal atom this is the ligand and how many ligands are there six so we can mention this is what hexa okay for six we can use hexa then we have ligands what is the ligand we have cyan cyanide ion is given there this is a negative ligand and for this in iupac name we use cyanido cyano or cyanido so i mention this is what cyanido is there cyanido is there hexa cyanido then we have the central metal atom next is central metal atom since the central metal atom is present in the anionic complex then we use its special name that is ferrate we have ferrate is there and then we write the oxidation number of the central metal atom we can calculate because this is a neutral complex pay attention carefully three potassium each potassium is what plus 1 then iron is there for which we have to calculate oxidation number then six cyanide ion it is having minus 1 charge minus 1 negative ligand is there it is a unidentate a negative ligand okay simplify plus 3 and it is what iron is there minus 6 is equal to 0 from here we get iron minus 3 is equal to 0 then iron is present in plus 3 oxidation number okay in anionic complex okay so we have to write oxidation number in roman number then we get 3 is there see the name of the complex we are getting potassium hexa cyanido ferrate and it is 3 which option is correct you can see we have b option potassium hexa cyanido ferrate it is 3 option b is correct 